barbecue with a southern explosive taste, guys. I have did numerous of beef rib videos, but I'm I'm trying out one of my older smokers I had for about three years, and I never got around to really doing a cook on it. So uh, I'm in the mood for some beef ribs. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna give the Bradley a try on beef ribs. The Bradley smoker a try on beef ribs. So uh, I got the mesquite um, uh, pucks flavor. So uh, what we're gonna do is uh, do a brief little run down of these beef ribs. They're basically come from a local locker. Uh, and uh, just if you don't notice what you do, you just sit here and you want you pull over here at camera, show the meat. And this is called skin the ribs. You just come here, put your thumb up under it, and uh, just take the membrane off the back of these this this uh, beef rib right here. So um, you know this one is not a one to really demonstrate on because it don't have that much membrane. But you, you know sometimes the whole thing comes off, other time it doesn't. So. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna pause the video. I'm gonna get this real cleaned up. And so I'm back with you. Uh, this is what we have. They're skinned. So why don't you come up here? I got as you see, I got uh, some regular old canola oil. And to the canola oil, this is what I'm gonna add. I kind of I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add uh, probably two or three tablespoons of of uh, beef uh, broth base and I'm at my Greek season I'm telling you you should try this guys uh, and, and I'm gonna use this to uh, rub the meat down and like a little paste kind of this one we use I'm gonna use about four or five teaspoons of that some black pepper Some accent, and some coarse salt. So that's what we're using to um, make our paste, and I'm just gonna stir it. It looks like pesto, kind of doesn't it? Doesn't it? So I'm just gonna stir this right here, and you wanna come closer on the focus on the ribs. So right here, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, show you how I do it. I just paint like a brush. Just just paint this, and this one I'm gonna use to mop these ribs with. I'm just gonna paint this uh, like a like a paste on the ribs. I just find out that. I do achieve better bark by doing it this way. I don't know why, guys, but um, it, to me, um, I don't know the science behind it, but uh, I've been cooking beef ribs for a long time. And if I want some good bark on my beef ribs, and the way I want these beef ribs cooked, I want them pretty barky. So this is how I, 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 this is how I achieve my best. Um, I go. I just... Do like such. So, when we come back to you, we'll be out by the Bradley Smoker, and we'll let you know how um, this comes out. So, um, we're just gonna finish mopping these ribs down, and uh, um, I mean, you can smell the everything on it, and it's just. Smells incredible. What about the back? Uh, I may get the back later on, but uh, right now I'm just going to get the front of the ribs like such. So we're going to pause the video. When we come back to you, we'll be back at the uh, the Bradley Smoker with some mesquite wood. Alright guys, we're back. We got the Bradley cooker warming up. Uh, what I need my son to do is go get me those Bradley put wood pucks. So while he's going to do that down, I want to talk a little bit more about the Bradley, okay? So why don't you come on in? Um, 
Braglet has one, two, three, four racks. And I have a bowl of water here. That's where it, that's where it automatically pushes those um, mesquite wood pucks or whatever pucks you use into the water. Push poles. So this TNT barbecue. We're back here with the Bradley. What we're using today is uh, mesquite Bradley flavored biscuits. And uh, that's what we're using for the um, smoker today. So I got a preheating. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is open this box, y'all. Finna see this right here. <laughs> and um, it look like it look cookie packages. Come check this out, guys. So I, I'm gonna take these out right here, and I'm gonna sit them in here. So. So I'm gonna go. So here's what we're gonna we're gonna learn together, YouTube. So I think I'm gonna uh, I think one roll will be good for one cook. So if not, I'll let you know. So uh I'm gonna add a couple more just in case. Okay, so we have me in here. So why don't you come over here in, in the middle of the camera. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the door right here. And you see, I'm going to push this button right here. A biscuit advance. And I'm going to. And you see as it coming in. And I'm going to push another one. So that's what we're gonna do. And while we're doing this, we might as well put the meat on, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and put one slab of beef ribs up top right here. And this slab right here, I think I'm gonna kind of go kitty corner in a way. I'm gonna put that straight on the rack right there. So that's how we're doing it right here, guys. Um, uh, one thing I can tell you, the master build has better racks. So I, I, I believe that um, see that now that would never happen with a master build, but it happened with this Bradley. I don't know if Bradley, I got the older model, and Bradley fixed that problem. I don't know, but that's what we're looking at right now. Three racks of those um, beef ribs. So where it pushes the putts in, the wood pucks come over here, it pushes these mesquite wood pucks in to the smoker. So that's a plus to me right there. Another plus is you can see the smoker actually, it got nice, good, thin smoke. So that's that's another plus. Now, what's some negatives about the Bradley? Okay. These are pretty expensive, okay? I think I got 48 of these things right here. And it cost me almost sixteen dollars. So sixteen dollars for, for for one of these, um, ah, that that can be pretty expensive, okay? Compared to the Master Bill electric smoker, the racks. Okay, Master Bill racks. If you want to, you could pull them out. Well, if you pull these out, look at they they tilting already. They're gonna tilt, fall over. See? So, so that's different the master bill rack okay but what what, what you have here is um i i, I know it's smoking I, I i i i can smell the mesquite wood it's pretty insulated right here guys uh this is not a brand new smoker but but uh i had it for about three years and i'm just getting around to using it so uh i bought it used for 50 bucks and um you know so uh you know, I cleaned up pretty good, but it's still got some stuff on it when I'm in a mess. But like I say, guys, uh, some more advantages of the Bradley over the master build probably would be uh, that you could probably home in the temperature a lot better here on this on this uh, 
on, on, on a particular the new model of the Bradley because it got a digital control where you can cut up and down. The master built pretty much the same way you can home in the temperature. So I say when it says a, a, a disadvantage or advantage, it's just that it's whatever you like. Uh, but the main disadvantage that the Bradley has on the master build, in my opinion, is this particular model are the racks and the, the wood pucks of the biscuits. The biscuits. Uh, these are a huge disadvantage, I think, that, that Bradley has. Um, but look at that clear smoke, guys. You know, the, I mean, that, that that's telling me it's doing a good job. But we're going to go off a of taste, though, and we, we'll make our assumption then. Um, insulation is there. The, the, the space is okay. You know, Masterville has a 40-inch smoker, and I, I believe the price of this smoke right here is through. Barbecue with a southern supposed to taste. I'm here with my other son. I say, what's up, T? What's up? So we here. We're going to do a test taste for the Bradley electric smoker. Now let's go look at the ribs, okay? You gotta excuse the sausage job, but um, yep, yep. The, this this rib right here, come on, look close to this rib. Look at that bark on that rib, guys. If she can zoom out a little bit more, look at the bark on that rib right there. Look at that bark. Oh my goodness. So uh, we got some one sauce, one not. So let's cut. Let, let, why don't you come a little close while I cut these ribs, okay? So um, this was cooked at 225 degrees. For approximately six hours, no wrap, no foil. So we're gonna uh we're gonna see that we're gonna see how that looks. So they cut pretty good, son. Mm -hmm. And and I'm guessing you want the one without the one uh, with sauce. So, even. Well we're gonna try we're gonna try and uh see what we like, you know. Mm -hmm. So that'll be, be one bite right there. You bite one side, bite one side. And then I want you to come stay right here. I'm gonna I'm gonna cut off. Uh, uh, wait, 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 son, until we get on camera. Hold on. Well, I like the way that. So let's get on camera, son. Okay. So uh, let me take the first bite, son, and I'll tell you what I taste. Mm. Okay. I'm gonna take a bite here. Huh. I know you're looking for it now, sauce, son. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. I felt like loud from no hippie a little bit, to how much I was chewing. Mm. So, let's talk about it, son. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me what you tasted? I tasted a real good flavor. It wasn't too smoky, but it wasn't not enough smoke. It was like just right, and it was really good. And I like how you added the sauce to it. I gave it an extra like good flavor, so it wouldn't have that much flavor. It would have flavor, but it wouldn't have as much flavor with the sauce. But you did a really good job with the sauce. Okay, okay. So the sauce, all right. So let's try this one without the sauce, son. Okay. okay. Mm. I think it deserves another bite, son. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. What I got from that son mm -hmm. is peppery, mm -hmm. smoky, yeah. um, bark. Yes. Is that are you feeling the same thing I'm feeling, son? Yep. Okay. What I would change with this son. I would have probably had a little less pepper. Mm -hmm. What you think? Um. Well, you didn't add a, a too much pepper, but it would have been it would have been a little better if you wouldn't have added as much pepper, though. Okay. Okay. And what what, what should I put in the place of so much pepper? Um. Um. Let me see. In this, well, if instead of that much pepper, you should put like not as much pepper, but not it. So what do you put in the ingredients? Like like I put salt, um, uh, 
Oh, um, to balance out the pepper, I should put a little something so, sweet. Yeah, a little something sweet in there, and it would have balanced out the pepper. So that's why the sauce, because the sauce is sweet, baby, raised. Mm -hmm. So that's why it tastes so much different with this. Because mm -hmm. it balances so, out the pepper. So what's the grade on a Bradley smoker? What do you get a, the grade? A B plus. A B plus, okay. We're going to make it a B plus because it would have been an A, but the putts are so expensive at the team. Mm -hmm. So, 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 and the racks. So, I give it a, a, a B minus because the racks and the putts, okay? So, you got the putts, which add a lot of smoke, okay? But you got the racks mm -hmm. that fall out when you try to check your meat. Mm -hmm. So, I think that the racks kind of take away from the, the master build. <coughs> I mean, it takes away from the Bradley and gives a point towards the master build electric smoker. So, um, all in all, great cook, good quality beef. This is TNT Barbecue. God bless you and God bless you. America. God bless you and God bless who? America. We out of here.